Wow, this is a lot of baking stuff. Today we're going Christmas shopping, but we're not shopping for presents. Today we are going food shopping. And not just any food. We are going to buy all the ingredients that I could possibly need for all of my Christmas baking. I love to bake. Cook, that's a, that's a necessity for survival. But baking, ooh, that is pure joy. Don't want to proclaim to be a fantastic baker, uh, but I do love to bake. And through Christmas time, I do a lot. I mean, a lot of baking. We need to go shopping to make sure that I have everything home when it's time to bake. Usually I don't plan on baking. I just, I bake as I go along. I feel like baking. I need to have everything at home. So, yeah, so today we're heading to the grocery shop and, yeah, we are going to shop for all the unhealthy, nasty shit you could possibly need. But before we go, I just quickly wanted to show you my outfit of the day. I'm wearing all Zara today. I picked up a new pair of jeans this fall, I believe. I think it's the fall collection but they're flared ones, and I haven't worn flare jeans since the late 90s, I think, but I love them. feels a bit strange because normally I wear like the really slim fitted ones, so this feels really weird and unnatural, but I love them. So let me just turn on the light. So super soft, super stretchy, even in the waistline, they do not cut in at all. So. And as you can see, and yeah, they're really, really flattering. I hope you can see. And the sweater is, I think the sweater is from last year. I'm not quite sure, but it's kind of a beige colored, cropped, a little bit oversized and super comfortable. It's a soft one. The only downside with this top is whenever you try to reach for something, you show your little tummy, but never mind. I love it. So it's too cold to have your jacket open anyway, so nobody will notice. So, And my boots and my jacket will be from Micah Kors outfit of today. Anyways, let's go grocery shopping and see you when I get back. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. you're missing I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow whatever we do we will be all right these holiday wonders will open your mind may all your wishes tonight come true the love I live the dream I knew this Christmas I only want Close to you
chops to get everything I needed, but got it. So let's unpack and I will show you what I bought. Christmas, it's a magical time full of kisses. Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly, did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Okay, so let me show you what I do before I head to the shop. I start off by writing down all the cakes that I plan to bake. I do have a few regular ones that I make every Christmas, but I also try to incorporate a couple of new ones every year to try. So, as you can tell, the highlighted ones are the names of the cakes. And then I write down all the ingredients there is in the recipe. Then I go through my cupboards, cupboards to see what do I possibly have at home. Is there anything that I don't have to buy? And in this way I can keep track on approximately how much of everything that I need to buy. Like for instance, butter of course reappears in a lot of, a lot of the recipes so I need to have a lot of butter. And then, of course, you do need a whole lot of flour and sugars. Yeah, and some regular stuff like vanilla powder, baking powder, and a lot of spices. This is a lot of good stuff. Oh boy. I just want to start baking right away. So we have some cream, which is not a ingredients that I use in a lot of the recipes. This is specifically for my cheesecake, my gingerbread cheesecake uh, that I make. And of course, butter, we have eggs, and here we have some cornstarch. And do not really know what you call this, but it's starch, but it's it's basically potato starch, but you probably call it something else. I have no idea, but some brown sugar. This is a very Swedish thing, but I have a few recipes where you use Greek yogurt, but I use this one instead because it has less fat in it and it's flavored with gingerbread, so it's Christmas flavored and it works just as well and it's really good to eat for breakfast so of course a lot of flour this is a special flour that I think has extra protein in it so this one I use for when I'm making buns like the saffron buns or cinnamon buns sugar of course and these ones pre-made gingerbread cookies are also for my gingerbread cheesecake. You use a lot of gingerbread cookies in that one, so I don't tend to make my own first and then bake my cheesecake because it takes way too much time. Powdered sugar, cocoa powder, Nutella. I always bake with Nutella. And yes, yeah, so I always have Nutella home for that. A whole lot of dark and light chocolate as well as white chocolate. These ones are for my Christmas cupcakes that you saw me make in my first video. It's for the frosting on top of the Christmas cupcakes. And then I have these dates that I make a killer treat with. I fill it with Nutella and this yeah almond thing it's made from almond it's really squishy 
If you know what this is called, please leave a comment down below because I don't know what this is called in English. These ones are so delicious. I usually make sure that I get the really squishy and soft ones so they're not like too dry and and hard because the squishier and softer they are, the better candy. This one will not last very long, I promise you. And then of course some agave, which I in some recipes use as a sweetener instead of sugars. And I also use these ones in a few of my cocktails that I make for Christmas. Of course, vanilla. And Okay, these Oreo cookies are not for Christmas baking. I am planning on making some slutty brownies in December, so it's not really Christmassy, but I plan on making those. So, and then we have some frosting for my gingerbread cookies, and I might attempt to making a gingerbread house. We'll see. Different kind of spices, of course, a whole lot of saffron. Here we have some ground cinnamon and shredded coconut and some shredded almonds. And last but not least, a whole lot of cream cheese that I use for my cheesecake and the Christmas cupcakes. So yeah, this was pretty much it. I'm so excited. I just want to start baking right now. When I see all of these ingredients, I'm just, I want to start now. That was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos throughout December. So take care, everybody. See you tomorrow.